It's about 5 a.m. right now and we're walking to the train station. Today we're facing our biggest challenge. We're actually gonna take the longest train journey we've ever taken here in Italy. Yeah. We're now down in Sicily. We're going all the way up, up north, which is, I don't know how many kilometers, but it's a but lot. it's 13 hours. But it's 13 hours by train and those are the fast trains. It's gonna be one experience. Today we're taking quite possibly the longest train journey across the entire country of Italy in one single day. So we had to make sure we're on time because we cannot afford to miss our very first train. The train should be here in about 15, 20 minutes. We haven't had breakfast yet. Nina hasn't had a coffee, but we prefer to be here on time. But wait. But we were smart. Banana? Ooh, yes, please. Traveling on a hungry stomach is one of our biggest like nightmares. I can't do it. Like, I am a nightmare. Yeah. So luckily, we got ourselves a few bananas, a few biscuits. Um, just one epically long travel day. Let's go. The spirits are high. Are they? Are your spirits high? No, no, no. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Over there, cuatro. Si, cuatro. But in true budgeteer form, chaos found us before 6 a.m. Yeah, it's over there. It's it. No, 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 no. Like it's that platform. Platform four. Like they switched platforms. Nice. Oh, it's there. Shit. We have to run. Ah. There's a platform change on the last second. And now we have to run because the train's over there. Man. With time to spare and still we have to run. Oh, the pain starting up. That was a stressful moment to start the day. Just lucky that yeah. the other guy was on the platform and told him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We wouldn't have even figured it out. Yeah, we wouldn't have even have, have known. We, we would have been... been sat there like idiots. <laughs> Thanks to that kind old Italian man who didn't speak a word of English, we didn't miss the change in platform of our really important first train. Which brings us to one of the most important pieces of advice we can give you if you're traveling to Italy, which is learn a little bit of Italian. And thanks to our sponsor of this video, Bubble, which is the largest language learning app with over 10 million subscribers, you can easily do so too. Bubble has been proven to get you speaking the language in just three weeks, with just short 10 minute sessions a day. The reason why Bubble is different and better than others is because this app is built by real teachers and not AI. Instead, Bubble teaches you practical sentences you can actually use in real life while traveling just in any conversation you find yourself in. Like we have done so many times this series, when you meet wonderful locals. Get 65% off your subscription if you use our link in the description below. So really try it out, since you're guaranteed to get your money back within 20 days. Bubble also offers tons of other languages like French and Spanish, which either Lina or I could speak, and it helped us bridge the language yes. barrier yes. a massive amount. Yeah. 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 So we cannot recommend it enough. So try out Bubble and start learning a new language today. We just hope that you learn from our mistakes and if you've watched this series, we've done a lot of idiotic things on this series, so it wouldn't be the first. Yes. paid six euros for Stop. beers in Rome. I blocked that from my memory. Which still hurts our wallets. Like, oh, th that hurt the budget a lot. Yeah. So here we are in our new set of wheels. Huh. 
I made us walk across the train station to a platform that wasn't for our train. So, we missed it. Uh, trying to get a drone shot over here in uh, Tuscany and uh, the drone for some reason reached mel mel maximum altitude which is just like this height and crashed into a tree all automatically. You can see it hanging up there. Okay. I lost Lena. He missed uh, an exit and went straight down. You can do it, Lena. I'm searching for somewhere for us to sleep tonight. We just heard that the hostel that we're staying at is completely full booked tonight. And we wanted to extend, but unfortunately our beds are taken now, so... I really thought that there, there was still going to be here. We were joking, like, oh, they might get stolen because they're on the street. Like, literally, one night, they stole it. On a pole with two locks, and they just freaking... Look at it. They were here last night when I got home. Like, at midnight, they were still here. And we're on two hours. Okay. It's gonna be like this <laughs> for another 13 for hours. 13 hours. Are you excited? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. Well, we can look outside the window, we can run around, we have a toilet behind us. Like, Travel-wise, this is a good place to be. If they would sell food on this train, it would be even better. And I think if you've seen, like, the Trenitalia trains are quite okay, actually. Like, I like these them. trains are very beautiful, We're in my opinion. Fun. These are the only trains I've taken in Europe, but I think they're nice. Yeah. For the most part, the trains are very, very beautiful. And there's a lot of infrastructure of trains. Like, we could take the trains everywhere we wanted in Italy. And if we hadn't had the bikes, we would have been able to get places faster. Yeah, we would have had access to the uh, fast, fast trains. trains. These views are uh, incredible. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Ooh, we have it now. We climbed there yesterday. Till <sighs> next time. Siamo in arrivo a Acireale. We are now arriving in Acireale. We've now arrived in Messina Centrale, but now we have to make our way around the corner to Messina Maritane. So, how are you, how are you feeling about leaving Sicily? Um, I'm just sad this trip is over. Like I'll we're doing it in reverse now. That's a, been, that's true. Nice. It rains so much that I wish we could stay here a little bit longer. Yeah, that no, we do, could have discovered more. Ah. We see the ferry boat train. And we tried to walk over and they told us no 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 you have to go through inside. So we went through inside but it's blocked. I don't know, we're a bit confused. Vale. Okay. Attempt number three. I genuinely don't know what we're doing. I think we're standing where we're meant to be standing. <laughs> I have no idea. But we're waiting here yeah. with the crowd. It's a little bit stressful because we have like a tight schedule because we get off the train, we get on the ferry and then the next train should be ready and that is a really important train we cannot Vamos. afford to lose. Okay, 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 okay. Now we're in the right line and we're heading to get onto the ferry to go to San Giovanni. Ahora sí. It's really cool though to like be in a train and now we're on a ferry. All these different experiences all in one day. <laughs> and it's cool that this is still like considered a train, like yeah. through Eurorail, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So after a really stressful morning, we decided to just chill out for this quick 20 minute ferry ride back to the mainland of Italy, where we needed to get our last but longest train all the way back to Milan. We 
short on time, but we needed to find some food because we're gonna be on this train a long time. I ran out and got some sandwiches for us on the train so that we don't die of hunger. We're actually trying out something new. Uh, we're trying out an interrail pass, yeah. which we're using right now. All of our stuff is still actually in Milan. We didn't know when we started this trip where we would end yeah. and we needed a lot of stuff to like start the to start our bikepacking trip yeah. so we have actually and lena's got her entire life My like, entire life like is all your luggage Milan, everything yeah. hey guys do you think i'll need this do you think we'll need the christmas tree <laughs> And especially with all the luggage that we're carrying right now, it would have also been expensive to uh, take a flight. So we took the adventurous route and we're now testing out this uh, Interrail app and uh, using it to get across entire Italy. Let's go, let's go, let's go! The train's arrived and so we need to get on. But uh, we're all the way up in the front, coach one. Um, so we gotta hurry. Get on! Wow, okay, this looks amazing. We got on the wrong wagon, but at least we're on the train, which is the most important on this point. Imagine if we would have missed this one. Oh. At least we see most of the train. It was free to upgrade to business class, as a, so uh, that's a bargain we won't sleep by. You can't. I've been needing to go right. the whole day. Cool. What does it look it's like? It's like an airport. Uh, not an airport, an airplane. Wow, that's fancy. That's fancy. Ooh. Sink. Probably one of the cleanest toilets we've had in a on a train. I would invite you in, but... <laughs> no, that's how it is. This wow. sandwich is also amazing. Is there sure we... coffee on here? <laughs> Probably, right? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> like, for us, this is heaven. Three hours in into our train third, journey. Yeah, oh, train, nine train and journey. a half hour train journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. So with that, we can actually start like looking back to the series. Pretty proud of us that we were able to pull it off. Every town, every city that we went in, I feel like I would turn to ties as soon as we arrived, and I'd be like, "This is this is the most beautiful town we've been in so far." And then like I'd say the same thing about the next one. Like every town is just so stunning yeah this italy trip has been uh, one intense trip and uh, of course uh, I'm, I'm amazed and proud of us that we've been able to pack in as much as we've could like we've done tons of different stuff uh, i especially like the cycling and the bike packing but we also wanted to see other regions see the touristy cities uh, and also visit Sicily like we wanted to see all the regions and it's crazy that we've managed to pack everything in I'm really happy with the trains They were a very nice surprise that we were able to do, do and see so much on the trains And now a question the a lot of question, us get yeah. The biggest question we've gotten yeah. since starting filming Where? Is Patty? He didn't leave the budgeteers. We didn't break <laughs> up. He's just unfortunately, unfortunately for us, stuck in Thailand yeah. um, and trying to get his vaccinations. Yeah, filming the series without Patty was completely different. We were talking this morning about how it's not the same without Patty, and like how we miss having, obviously, Patty here because uh, he's our best friend, and and we love the dynamic between the mm. three of us. But also, just from a technical point of view, it's. Um, we miss having a, a third set of hands, yeah. um, a third brain for ideas, you know? A um, third person to la rely on and help us all on the road, because yeah. filming this entire series is a crazy undertaking, yeah. and it was crazy with the three of us, it was yeah. crazy intensive, now it's only two of us. Yeah, and it was really hard not to have him around. 
and we'll see you there. When I'll do that. I'll do that again because. Um. We're rolling. Oh, we're rolling. Oh, what am I doing? Go for it. That was funny. Three. Three. Good night. I'll grab the camera. That was all fake. We didn't actually go to sleep. I think we're in transit now for over 10 hours. I'm exhausted. Um, um. I'm like my body's just like, oh yeah, can I just like sleep now? <laughs> Taz, you got anything you want to share with the crowd? Yeah, well, our lives also have changed a little bit over the year. Like, so yeah, I have a, a baby daughter. Yeah. Um, which made coming on this series a lot more difficult for anyone who knows what be, how much work and love and treatment babies require. Our daughter is now a uh, little more than six months old uh, and I'm now away for over like yeah, for, three weeks. for about three weeks so it's really incredible that my girlfriend supports me that we're able to like film the series and keep continuing the budget years yeah so shout, that's out why to, I, shout out to Margot hashtag Margot yeah. the sun is shining Hola. am I gonna get us taken off the YouTube? I don't know you <laughs> But I thought you were talking to Margot. Well, I am a little bit. Margot is also <laughs> watching. Margot, we're talking to you. Hi. So really after this, uh, I'm going back home to see my daughter. Coordinating three lives, three schedules. Yeah. Now. Now with Margot. Now and, five uh, lives. And a, a little Nina schedule as five, well. Five lives yeah. to schedule around. So. And my stomach. That's like six lives to schedule. Well, my bowels as well. <laughs> they don't. They don't allow for scheduling. <laughs> Mine are always late. Oh, uh, there's not enough coffee in this cup. <laughs> 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 not even to make me poop. I've got the opposite problem. Yeah. And I have to say, Ties, I've never seen you laugh so hard as you have on this series. Yeah, yeah, it was. Like one night. He was crying from laughing so hard. Like there were tears streaming down his face. So also because we we have been in some oh my God, we've really just bizarre <laughs> situations this series. That I think we're just like drained. on the edge of on the edge of insanity. Of insanity, yeah. it's true. Do you prefer renting on Airbnb or hosting couch surfers? <laughs> hosting couch surfers. <laughs> <laughs> Is it raining? No. It's, 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 Oh. Come on in the sunshine. You are so surprised. I prefer. Oh no, me. Oh no, me. <laughs> Do you think we would have been better off cycling the Amalfi Coast and dropping the bikes into the ocean? <laughs> You steal this car. <laughs> and I've never seen Lena in this state. <laughs> Completely <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> this was one crazy ride. Oh my god. We, I can't feel my legs anymore. I am the worst bike packer ever. <laughs> We're here in the garden, and luckily there is a garden hose. Oh, there's two garden hose. <laughs> Get it? You're a hoe now. <laughs> Get it? Go on, honey. Go on. <laughs> this is what I have to work with. This is what I have to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> Start with your face in the camera. Go on, you know when you gotta leave. <laughs> We've been on a lot of crazy trips, but this was one. 
definitely this one of the most intense the earth. roller coasters. The earth. The earth. <laughs> That's the word we're gonna remember this trip. <laughs> a lot of budget year series have been roller coasters, but this one is this really one is, tops it. <laughs> this one is just Oof. like the, the what's the one called the elevator? Yeah. Where it just like takes you over the new <laughs> Yeah. That's what this the is. Highest the highest highs and the lowest lows. Oof. So it's been crazy. But Whoa. so thank you for supporting us. Yeah, thank you. And seeing us through this. We love you guys. Yes. And I think we just pissed off the woman in front of us. We're sorry. Milan was finally approaching, and we could really feel the effects of the incredibly long travel day. But on top of that, we started to feel the stresses of getting everything finished and prepared before our flights tomorrow. So what a crazy the, journey for. <laughs> this is what tired budget chairs look like. Yeah. Look at us. We're a mess. We're a mess. <laughs> I was just thinking everything we have to do tomorrow before we fly. <laughs> <laughs> Milano Central. This is where it all started. And this is where it will all end. Yeah. But not yet. We traveled over 1,300 kilometers today on a train on a single day. It's crazy. Yeah. Thanks Interrail for the Interrail pass. Yes. I would really recommend the, the, the one country pass like traveling within one country or just throughout the European Union. There's options for everyone. Yeah. So, it's good. Now, our flights to go home are actually just tomorrow. And uh, we're gonna meet up with someone uh, we know here in the city. Someone you know in the city. Yeah. If you watch the series, go back to episode one where we started the trip here. And we're gonna have one last dinner. One last dinner in the arena. Oh, no. Thank you. I, feel like, I feel like a luggage when I hug you. <laughs> I feel like a luggage when I hug you. How are you? I don't know. Right, so our bikes were stolen. Yay! Yeah, but you're safe, that's what counts. <laughs> Wait, is that real or is that just for the store? No, no, it's real. Like our bikes were actually stolen. They wanted to sell them. Maybe so. they just needed a ride. Yeah, they were like, oh, I don't want to walk home. Here's the bike. Well, yeah. Okay, so oh, I, just, I already fucked up. How badly? I don't know. On a scale of one to ten, how badly? I think, did I think we, like uh, I think we made more mistakes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this year. yeah. Getting dinner and drinks with Marco and seeing him on our final night in Italy was the perfect way to finish off this three-week-long adventure. Hello. Usually, the more sad I am at the end of the trip, kind of like shows how how good the trip was. Yeah. Nina's stuff, trying to pack her bags, and my suitcase where I need to fit everything in.
We began the seemingly impossible task of packing absolutely everything in our bags, all before making enough time to run one last very important and necessary here. Oh, Good sorry. morning. Hello. Our last morning in it's Italy. Our last morning in Italy, our last morning together for a while. I know, I'm so sad. Um, but anyway, we just bought Prosecco. I'll show it. And you know from what region? Da -da -da -da, from the Prosecco Hills. Yeet! So we each got a bottle and uh, if anyone's ever in Milan, wine o'clock close to the train station. Amazing shop, super professional, super informative sellers, like amazing. Vale, so we're gonna break apart now, really quickly. Yeah, and I have a lot of errands to run. Yeah, so Ties has to go find a wheel for his suitcase, so <laughs> we're gonna divide and conquer. I have to figure out how to pack. When it will see, Dios. Everyone keeps telling me everything's not gonna fit, and I was like, nope. I'm gonna make it fit. I'm gonna make it fit. Lina we just is, need to close this one. Lena is trying to fit all that she owns. Plus, plus camping gear. Plus camping gear in this backpack. This Tropic Field backpack. <laughs> and uh, we're so close, but okay. There, 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 there. Oh. No! <laughs> oh, it fits. Bum, 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 bum. We're doing the final room sweep. The last room sweep of the trip. No, 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 no. We're good to go. On our final train journey to the airport, we could feel the very normal mix of sadness, anxiety, and excitedness that come with finishing off any trip or big adventure. Ties is checking in for his flight right now. We're hoping nothing goes wrong with the weight of the bags or anything like that. So, let's, let's go. I had 30 kilos that was allowed to take on. I had 29.6. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I avoided the fines. Just barely. I have to catch my flight and I have to say goodbye to Lena. Yeah, and I have to go check in. So. Yeah, it's time. It's time. <sighs> Hi. Oh. Thanks for uh, an awesome series. Yeah. And it's been amazing to yeah. be back after two years. I know. I'm having a crazy adventure. I know. <laughs> this is it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, give us a like if you love this uh, love this series. And yeah, please subscribe. It really helps us out and yeah. the channel and helps us make more series. So and comment below and let us know what you think. Yeah. We love to hear from you guys. As yeah. Well. We really, 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 really love your reactions. And we'll definitely see you in the next series with Patty. Yeah, for yeah. sure. We're looking forward. Bye, guys. Bye. On to the next series.